Good day everyone, my name is Sir Eddie, the founder of the Hans Fashion Academy. A fashion academy where confidence is built. We say confidence is built because we're going to teach you knowledge that wherever you go to and you're talking and you're speaking, you're talking with some degree of boldness and confidence because you have the proper knowledge. That's why we say this is the Hans Fashion Academy. It's a school where confidence is built. Today, we are going to teach you the parts and functions of sewing machine so you know how the parts function and whenever you have a problem with your sewing machine you should know what to do during troubleshooting you should know where the problem is and be able to tell the person which part of the machine is having a problem but adventure so you're calling somebody to explain what the problem of the machine is you need to know the parts and the functions and to tell them what the problem is that's why you need to know the parts and the functions of the sewing machine so that you can explain better and you'll not be talking like a novice and you can only get this from a school like the Hans Fashion Academy and will give you this confidence so you can perform better and talk with boldness. We've observed that a lot of persons when they are talking they are teaching you either the industrial sewing machine or the manual which is the treadle sewing machine but we've observed that there are there are similarities that are in both of these machines so we have to bring both of them together so we're explaining the similarities among both of them and we'll also be telling you the differences between the both of them so you can know them that's why we have to bring both of them together to teach you so you can know the differences and the similarities between both of the machines so let's start sewing machines have three portions you have the head which is this part of the machine that has the parts that we are going to discuss as we go on all the parts of the sewing machine we are going to discuss is in the head then you have the bed the bed is where the head of the machine rests and the part where you place your fabric when you're sewing so this is the bed the bed is this part where the head rests then you also have the stand the stand is this whole part of the machine that you have both the head and the bed of the machine resting on it so you have the head you have the bed and you have the stand these are the three parts of the sewing machine for both the industrial street sewing machine and the treadle manual machine which i'm going to show you next so this is the head for the treadle manual machine which is this part that you're seeing. It has all the parts of the machine that we are going to discuss subsequently. And you have the bed. The bed of the machine is where the head rests. Then after the bed, you're going to have the stand. The stand, is what, the stand is what carries the bed of the machine and the head of the machine. So let's start discussing the parts of the sewing machine that is all in the head. We will start with the tress stand and this is the tress stand for the industrial machine. You will not be, you will not find tress stand on a treadle machine, but for the tress, for the industrial machine, we'll have a tress stand, which is the entire structure you're seeing here. But the similarity between the, the treadle machine and the industrial machine is the spool pin. For the industrial machine, you have a spool pin on this tress stand, but you don't have that on the the treadle machine so i will show you the spool pin on the treadle machine but what you have on the, the industrial machine the first thing we are discussing now is the stress stand and the purpose of the tread stand is to keep the tread where you place your tread so that you can tread the machine to sew this is where the tread is supposed to stand you see the white tread we have on this machine this is where it's supposed to stay on the stress stand where you have the spool pin for the treadled machine which is a manual machine you use your leg to to make the machine function we have the spool pin and this is it this is a spool pin you do not have a stress stand on the treadle machine but you have a spool pin which is this you're seeing it and this is the position where you keep your tread so that you can fix your tread in the machine for you to make your stitches on the cloth for the industrial straight sewing machine, this is the bobbin winder. The entire structure you're seeing here is 
the component of the bobbin winder. And this whole thing is the bobbin winder. And the essence of this, in order for a machine to function, for you to make a proper stitch, you need, you need a thread under the machine and one on top. And you cannot get a thread inside the machine. You cannot use your finger to wind the thread inside the bobbin. You need the bobbin winder to do that. And what you do, what you need to do is to fix your bobbin here and connect it in the way that it will be proper and wind the thread. So the purpose of this is for you to wind the thread in the bobbin the way you see it now. And this is the thread you're supposed to connect, you're supposed to fix under the machine so that you can make a proper stitch. And this is what you need to use to do the bobbin winding. For the treadle machine, this is the bobbin winder that you use to wind the thread that is supposed to be under the machine while the other thread is coming from the top there is a thread that is supposed to come from beneath which is the thread from the bobbin case but for you to do that you need to wind the thread in the bobbin you fix your bobbin here and connect it in the proper way then wind the thread the way you're seeing it now so it is this part of the machine that enables you to wind your thread into the bobbin so you can put it beneath the machine and have a proper stitch. So the name of this is called the bobbin winder. This is the balance wheel. There is a belt that is connected to the machine motor that helps the functioning of the machine. So the balance wheel is a part of the machine that the belt is connected to that makes the machine move. For the treadle machine, this is the balance wheel that enables the machine to also function like i told you before this is what helps that to function because there is the cord that is connected to it down to the pedal of the machine that helps it to function so if you want to use your machine you need the balance wheel to make that happen this is the balance wheel this is the stitch regulator and this regulates the length of the stitches, how long you want the stitches to be. If you look at it, there are numbers on it. On the industrial sewing machine, you have the stitch regulator and this is the stitch regulator. It regulates the length of the stitches. This is the stitch regulator for the treadle machine. It's all, it also helps to reverse stitches. So it acts as both stitch regulator and to reverse your stitch to lock the stitch from the beginning of your sewing and at the ending but for the industrial straight sewing machine we have the stitch regulator separated from the reverse lever while for the straight sewing treadle machine we have both the stitch the stitch regulator and the reverse lever as one for the industrial straight sewing machine we have the stitch regulator as this and we'll have the reverse lever as this. So if you press it down, the stitches will reverse. And if you leave it to go up, the stitches will come the opposite direction. This is the oil level side window. There is an oil that is in the oil reservoir and it has a level at which it's supposed to be. For you to know the level of the oil, if it is low or high, you need to observe it from the oil level side window and this is what you are supposed to be looking at. It is called the oil level side window. We do not have it on the treadle machine. We have the tread guide that keeps the tread in the proper position and there are multiple of them. But for the industrial straight sewing machine, we have this as a tread guide. The essence of this is just to keep the thread in the proper position while this thread is on motion. We have this, we have this as a thread guide and sometimes for some machine we also have another one here on the industrial straight sewing machine. This is the thread guide like you're seeing here that keeps the thread in the proper position and this is also the thread guide. So when you're fixing your thread on your machine you need to pass it through this position so that your thread can stay in the proper position for you to make your stitches. The thread tension regulator on the industrial straight sewing machine is this component that you're seeing here. The whole of this thing is called the thread tension regulator. On it, we have the tension discs. And the, trend, the tension discs are these two things you're seeing here. So it helps to, to, it helps to regulate the tension on the thread. Whether you want it tight or loose, this is what you're supposed to use to adjust the tension on the thread by turning this thumb screw here. If you tighten this thumb screw, 
it will make it tighter. If you're losing it on the other direction, it will make it loose, depending on how you want to set your stitches. For the treadle machine, both the treadle machine and the industrial straight sewing machine, both the thread tension regulator, they are similar. So nothing different from both of them. It also have the, it also have that component that regulates the stitches and a tension disc that is inside. Those two flat discs that is here is a tension disc that, that regulates the tension of the stitches to make it tight or loose. The thread take up lever is this that you're seeing here. The purpose of this is for, for it helps to move the thread in the machine while you're sewing because it has the upward and downward movement. That upward and downward movement it was, is what moves the thread when you're sewing. So for the thread take-up lever, that is what enables the thread to move while you're sewing. For the treadle machine, this is the thread take-up lever that helps in the movement of the thread while you're sewing because it has an upward and downward movement and that is what makes the thread move while you're sewing. The face plate is this part of the machine. It covers the entire mechanism that helps in the movement of the entire machine. If you open this, you are going to see all the mechanism that is here that helps in the movement of the machine. This is the face plate on the treadle machine. The presser foot bar. The presser foot bar is what holds the presser foot together. This is the presser foot and this is the bar. Holds together with a knot on the industrial straight sewing machine. I will show you same on the treadle manual machine. For the Trello manual machine, this is the presser foot bar that holds the presser foot. The presser foot regulatory thumb screw is this on the industrial straight sewing machine. It helps to regulate the pressure on the presser foot depending on the particular fabric you're working with. So if you want the presser foot to have an increased pressure, you screw it down. If you want it to have a light pressure, you screw it up then you have the pressure that is convenient for you to work with this fabric you're working with. This is the presser foot regulatory thumb screw for the treadle manual sewing machine. It has the same function with that on the industrial straight sewing machine. The presser foot on the industrial sewing machine is this part of the machine. It works together with the feed dog to enable the fabric move while you're sewing. So if you put your fabric in between these parts, you're going to drop the, press, the presser foot down. Both the presser foot and the feed dog will work together to move the fabric. If I raise this up, you see that the feed dog is moving. So we have the presser foot here and this one beneath the presser foot is the feed dog. The same function you have on the industrial sewing machine for both the presser foot and the feed dog is the same function you're going to have on the treadle manual machine. So this is the presser foot on the treadle manual machine and beneath it is the feed dog. If I move the balance wheel, you will see the, the feed dog moving. And if you put your fabric in between this compartment and drop your take up lever, you're going to, that's what enables the fabric move. The presser foot lever or the presser foot lifter on both the industrial straight sewing machine and the treadle manual machine is this. So when you want to put your fabric in the machine, you have to lift your presser foot up using the presser foot lever or presser foot lifter. You have that on both the industrial straight sewing machine and the treadle manual machine. The presser foot knee lifter. On the industrial straight sewing machine, we have a presser foot knee lifter and both the presser foot lever that I just talked about a moment ago. So for your hands to be free, the construct, the manufacturers of the machine have put a presser foot knee lifter beneath the machine. So if you're sewing, instead of using your one hand, you have your two hands being free and you can use your knee like this to lift the presser foot. So if you push, you, if you place your knee on it and push it backward, look at what is happening to the presser foot. The presser foot will also be lifted, even if you don't want to use your presser foot lever. So look at what it, what happens when I use my knee on it.
the presser foot is taken up. So you have your two hands free for you to control your fabric. Unlike using one hand to lift your presser foot lever and putting the fabric in it. But for the industrial straight sewing machine, you have the ability to use your two hands without using your other hand to lift the presser foot. This is the presser foot lifter at the back of the machine for the treadle manual machine. I hope you are seeing it clearly. It is this lever that is at the back of it. As I take it up, the presser foot will go up for you to put your fabric and you bring it down before you start sewing. So this is it at the back of the treadle manual machine. The needle bar. This is the needle bar on the industrial straight sewing machine and the function of the needle bar is to hold the needle because there is a needle, there is a screw that holds the needle on the needle bar. We also have the needle that is held by the needle bar. The needle is where you fix your thread to sew on the industrial straight sewing machine. But I'm going to show you same on the treadle manual machine. So we have the needle here and the needle is attached to the needle bar. For the treadle manual machine, we have this as the needle bar. So on it, we also have the needle that is attached to the needle bar and this is the needle where you fix your thread while you're sewing. This is the needle. The needle plate on both the industrial straight sewing machine and the treadle manual machine have the same function. It has a hole that enables the needle to pass through to pick the thread from the bobbin case beneath the machine. So this is the needle plate. Around this region will have a hole that the needle can pass through. So we have the needle plate, which is this one. And I also use this opportunity to tell you about the slide. And this, and this is the slide. When you want to fix your bobbin case beneath the machine, for you to see the bobbin case under the machine, you need to open the slide. You need to open the slide so you can see your bobbin case and place it, place it in the proper position and you fix your bobbin case. But for you to see that, you need to open your slide and also close it back. This is the needle plate for the treadle manual machine and the slide, the slide plate for the treadle manual machine. It has the same function with what I talked about before on the industrial straight sewing machine. The slide plate and the needle plate. The bobbin for both the industrial straight sewing machine and the treadle manual machine is the same thing. It is just that part of the machine that you fix your under thread. You fix the thread that you're going to fix underneath the machine. So this is the bobbin. For both machines, they are the same thing. We also have the bobbin case, which is this one that you're seeing here. It's almost the same thing with both the industrial straight sewing machine and the treadle manual machine. This is the bobbin case. So for you to have that functioning properly, you need to fix your bobbin. You need to fix your bobbin in the bobbin case and connect your thread properly and fix it beneath the machine. And fix it beneath the machine and you have to hear this sound. It has to make that sound for you to know that it has been fixed properly. The bobbin, which is this, and the bobbin case, which is this, has the same function with the industrial straight sewing machine. So you put your bobbin inside and also put it beneath the machine and you will hear the same sound for it to function properly. It's the same thing for both the industrial straight sewing machine and the treadle manual machine. The pedal is what moves the machine. If you place a leg on it and press it downward, the machine will automatically start moving on the industrial straight sewing machine. The more you press it downward, the more the speed increases. It's just the same thing that happens when you're driving a vehicle. The more you step a leg on the gas or the throttle, the machine starts moving faster. You, you take it upward, it will stop. But the difference is that the pedal on the industrial straight sewing machine is automatic because it works with electric. 
for the treadle manual machine this is the pedal or the treadle if you want to make the machine start moving or start functioning while you're sewing your cloth unlike the industrial straight sewing machine you just place your leg on it and the more you press down the movement of the machine will increase but for the manual straight sewing machine which is the treadle machine you need to you need to press your leg on it and turn the balance wheel it moves to get it works together with the balance wheel as you turn your balance wheel and press the leg on it and be moving it downward and backward you see the machine will start moving because it is manual as different from the industrial straight machine which is electric and automatic that you just need to place your leg on it like a vehicle and the speed will increase while for this you need your leg to move downward and backward for it to function properly like you are seeing me doing in the video the oil reservoir for the industrial sewing machine is beneath the machine. This is the oil reservoir. It's a compartment where you put the oil that runs that runs through the machine for a proper functioning of the machine. Unlike the straight sewing machine, which is the manual treadle machine, you don't have a you don't have oil reservoir. You just drop your oil in the holes that are in the machine. But for the industrial straight sewing machine, there is a reservoir where you put the oil, and that this oil can last you for about a year before you can change it. This is the oil reservoir, but I'll show you the oil, the inner part of the oil reservoir as we go on. For you to see the inner part of the oil reservoir, you need to raise the the head of the machine up. And if you look in it, you're going to see oil in that compartment. It has a high and a low. So if you raise your industrial straight sewing machine, you're going to see the oil and that's where you need to put your oil. You see the oil is dropping because I raised it up. So you can close it back before you can use your machine. The arm of the machine for both the industrial straight sewing machine and the manual treadle machine is the same thing. It just enables you to carry the machine when you want to carry your machine for repair or for transfer to another place. So this part of the machine is the arm for the industrial straight sewing machine. For the manual machine, this is also the arm. This part of the machine is called the arm. The function of it is for you to carry your machine when you separate the head from the other part of the machine. This is the power switch. Like every other power switch on any item is the on and off of the machine. If you want to use the industrial straight sewing machine, you need to press it on. It powers the motor for the machine to function. And this you're seeing underneath the machine is the motor, which is the electrical part of the machine that makes the machine to function. So I'll on the machine so that you can see how the power switch ons the motor. So if I on it, you will hear a sound and I'll even place my, I'll even press the pedal or the treadle of the machine for you to see how these things function. So the hearing that sound is the sound that comes up when you on the machine. So if you press the pedal, the machine will start functioning. You hear that sound? That is how it works. So if I put the fabric in between the pressure foot and the feet bell, you see that the fabric is removed. Everything will start from there. So when you are done with your sewing, you can put up the power switch by pressing the off button, which is the red button. And the green button is the on, the red is the off on the power switch. We don't have that on the treadle manual machine because it's a manual machine. You only have it on the industrial straight sewing machine on every machine.